We all know the Duramax platform is used by many diesel engine builders and enthusiasts for a variety of purposes. This week, we're talking about an LV7 Duramax affectionately named Katrina, which has drag raced at numerous tracks across the country before retiring in 2013. Katrina is owned by Dimitri Millard, who owns and operates No Zone Diesel in Franklin, Ohio. He's been hard at work getting the LV7 Duramax ready to hit the track again in 2025, and it's our Diesel of the Week. Engine Builders Diesel of the Week is sponsored by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Hey everyone, I'm Kristen Strout of Kristen Strout Racing here for Engine Builders Diesel of the Week. This week, we're giving you the details of a compound turbo Duramax engine built by Dimitri Millard of No Zone Diesel. Looking to bring the engine and truck known as Katrina back from retirement, Millard started with a no-coolant, concrete-filled LML block machined by Corey Griffiths of Cranked Diesel Performance. The engine has a massive Waggler water-to-air intake on top with a Cali's crankshaft, CP Carrillo rods, and CP Carrillo pistons that make up the bottom end. A SoCal alternative firing camshaft helps the LB7 run well down the track. Pumping fuel through the engine are massive 550% over injectors from Exergy, along with three reverse rotation 12 millimeter fuel pumps. The turbo setup is a Columbus Diesel Supply 5.35 inch turbocharger with a massive air intake in the truck's grill that looks like a bullhorn. A smaller 98 millimeter Pro Mod Charger from Precision Turbo is also providing additional power and speed. On top of having a compound turbo setup, Dimitri has a Lightning 375 nitrous solenoid to give this LV7 an additional kick of horsepower, but Millard admits the nitrous is jetted way down so not to break anything. Additional engine components include Manton rockers, DHD billet rocker stands, and DHD billet valve bridges to help give the engine more strength. Of course, Katrina would not be complete without one of No Zone Diesel's own transmissions. After testing this new setup, the LB7 is putting out a whopping 2,300 horsepower and over 3,000 pounds foot of torque. Millard hopes the truck will begin its drag racing return in 2025, and when it does, he should have no problem competing against just about anyone. Thanks for watching this episode of Diesel of the Week, sponsored by Amsoil. And if you have an engine that you'd like to see featured, please email our editor, Greg Jones, at gjones at babcox.com. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.